following upon the discovery of LSD by Albert Hoffman in the late 30s, and then the writing on the subject of the psychedelic experience that was done by Aldous Huxley, uh, Metzner, and others, it became a fad of the self-exploring youth culture of the 60s to be involved with these things. Uh, this was during a time of great social upheaval for other reasons, and the end product of that historical episode was the complete suppression of the study of psychedelic drugs, and in my opinion, to the great detriment of the development of psychology. I feel that uh, potentially psychedelic drugs could be for psychology, what the telescope became for the science of astronomy. The problem with the psychedelics is that they um, dissolve cultural programming and hence inherently have a political charge about them. You see, culture is the product of the unperturbed human mind. The human mind, unperturbed through the medium of language, erects institutions and social structures which, into which it then secretes itself and uh, sort of lives in a private Idaho. A psychedelic drug will dissolve these linguistic and cultural assumptions. It is a perturbation of the mind, and the perturbed mind is a mind in the act of rediscovering the nature that lies outside of culture. So this tension between cultural values and what we might call, for want of a better word, reality, creates a tension between institutions and the users of these substances. It's as if our culture, if I understand you right, acts as a filter uh, between our minds and, and direct experience of, of reality, and the drugs somehow blow away that crust of culture and allow more of a direct agnostic experience. That's right, and the business of culture, any culture, is to perpetuate its cultural models. And if the hallucinogenic plants have not been integrated into the cultural model, then they are definitely seen as dangerous forces for an unpredictable sort of social change. Mm -hmm. Now, if the hallucinogenic plants have been integrated into the cultural model, this is not then a problem, and this is the case with shamanism. Shamanism is the uh, culturally sanctified institution of uh, inner exploration mm -hmm. via psychoactive plants. Where psychoactive plants are not present, shamanic institutions tend to become initiated to rely on ritual or ordeals or uh, other methods of eliciting, eliciting these ecstatic states. But to my mind, and this is a great argument which rages in anthropology, uh, to my mind, and I'm in agreement with Wasson here, the hallucinogenic plants are the sine qua non for an active shamanism. For authentic. An authentic shamanism. shamanism. That's right.